Welcome to another of our videos helping you out. This month we're talking about straight line quilting. There's some really great things that you can do with straight lines. I've got a quilt behind me here that I quilted last year. It's got some fancy stitching in it, but the majority of it is just done with very simple straight lines. It's a more modern approach um, and it's one that you can achieve very simply. Today I'm going to tell you all about channel locks, the different types, from the mechanical ones to the more fancy electronic ones. I don't have an example of our electromagnetic channel locks to show you in the studio, but those ones are really cool too. You can add it as an extra to your machine if you don't have a pro stitcher. And it has powerful magnets that uh, work on metal plates that go onto your frame and your carriage. Then you can flick a switch whenever you're in the position that you want for your horizontal or vertical line, those magnets engage with the plates and it stops the machine moving in the wrong direction. So if you want a vertical line, it will stop the machine from moving horizontally and vice versa. They're really an awesome addition to a machine if you like to do a lot of um, straight line quilting. Nice for getting your tops of your quilts nice and square when you start off. But there are, are, there are other options. So let's look at the mechanical ones and then I'll show you Pro Stitcher as well. Let's look at the side of this Simply 16 if I want to make uh, horizontal lines on a quilt. I can use our normal um, channel lock clamps and these then just fit over the wheel. You can get away with one but if you really want it to be stable then you can put two that means now if I try to move the machine backwards and forwards, I've got to put a bit of effort in to actually get it to move. So I can get a nice horizontal line. If I want to then space my lines apart, I can just use a bit of force to move the machine forward to the next line or the next position where I want to stitch, and then I'll be able to stitch a nice horizontal line. This is the back of the carriage, so I'm standing at the back of the machine. Um, if I want to have vertical lines on my quilt, I need to stop the carriage from moving side to side. So using those same clamps, I can clamp the wheels at the back here when my needle is in the correct position for the, hor the vertical line that I want. Now it's difficult to move the machine side to side, but it will move backwards and forwards very easily. So with just those very simple, very cheap clamps, you can do a whole lot with your machine and get some really nice straight line quilting going on your quilts. If you're lucky enough to have a pro stitcher, then you've got channel locks built into your system. If you look on the left hand side here, you've got horizontal channel locks. Just click on it till it becomes green. That means it'll stitch horizontal lines for you. To get rid of it, just click it again so that it becomes normal color. You've also got a vertical channel lock, so that will then stitch vertical lines for you. Every time you need to just deselect it to unlock the motors, move across to your next area, reselect the type of channel, you want, channel lock you want, and you can carry on stitching. Maybe you don't know too, if you go to your Pro Stitcher button on the top here, you have a button Move. So click on Move and then on the right hand side of your screen here, you've got arrows. This works also like a stitch regulator. So I've got the stitch selected at the top and the speed is on 7, which is relatively slow. I'm going to just move the camera a little bit. If I press the right hand side, it will stitch to the right for me. If I stitch to the press on the left, it stitches to the left. So it works like a horizontal channel lock. My up and my down, they work like vertical channel locks. The amazing thing with this system is you also have diagonals. So you do not have any other kind of way of making a diagonal line consistently other than using a ruler. So if I want to come down to the um, front left with a diagonal, I can press this one up to the top right, and I can go down that side and back up top right, top left. So it's really an amazing system, you've got all kinds of options there that you don't have normally with me mechanical channel logs. Just another reason why ProStitch is an awesome package.